Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to your cool down and stretch. And these are daily stretches to improve flexibility. Now, I'm not gonna waste any time. If you've just come from a workout, let's get going now with these stretches because you'll have a nice bit of sweat on your skin and that keeps us nice and safe to get into all of these moves coming up. So let's do some arm circles. Good. And again, if your heart rate's still a little bit elevated, we'll bring it down here a little bit for you before we get into some actual static stretches where we hold the stretch. So there's a few statics and a few where there's movement involved. Good. And we'll go the opposite way. Well done. Good. That's it. Circling around to the front, enjoying that lovely mobility there for the shoulders. Feeling the upper back working as well. Good work. And let's do two more and relax now let's get into some side bends so you might want to make sure your feet are about hip distance or even even shoulder distance apart or even wider depending on your flexibility here pull your belly button in towards your spine and let's stretch across hold that stretch for me now and feel a lovely lovely stretch going from your armpit down to your hip great to stretch out the trunk and the side of the body something I do quite regularly reach across now Take a breath in and make sure your tummy muscles are engaged. Back to the middle again, resetting those abs and over we go to the other side. That's it. And just give your, your body time to actually get into a stretch and then feel the muscles lengthening out and then maybe you might be able to push that arm a little bit further. Keep that neck relaxed. Good. Back to the center interlace the fingers now do the same thing but just with two hands over we go well done feel that lovely lovely stretch if you're feeling your lower back make sure you have engaged your core so just again bring it back to the middle pull your belly button in towards your spine make sure that you're nice and safe in around the center of your body and then reach across well done being a lovely stretch in around those, the rib cage area there and in around the shoulder. Push away. Back to the middle. And bring your feet in a little bit closer to each other. And let's reach right up to the ceiling. Well done. Feeling that lovely stretch. Stretching out those abdominals. Reach up. Good work. Okay. Now let's go down and we'll just do some inner thigh stretching. So nice and gentle. Okay, so you don't have to have a very, very wide stance. Start off with a, a nice gentle stance here where your legs are parted somewhat. Come back to the middle and come over to the other side. Good. Hold that stretch. We'll develop the stretch a little bit. Okay, so we'll hold this now for, again, a few seconds. Let's go back to the opposite side. Good. Feeling a nice pull on your inner thigh there. Make sure your feet are facing to the front, 12 o'clock position, and keep your chest upright. That's it. Keep your back flat and don't sink into the move. Good work. Change over to the other side if you haven't done so. Feeling a nice stretch there in the inner thigh again. Well done. Let's do that one more time on this side. Good. Feeling that lovely pull on the inside of the leg. Be nice and gentle. Let's switch over. So as each time as you go from side to side, you should feel a little bit more of a stretch. That's good, keeping that chest upright as much as you can. Well done, come back to the middle. Now this time widen your legs a little bit more. I'm going to reach down towards the floor or if you can touch the floor, that's great. You'll have to experiment here with your stance a little bit. Push the knees back behind you so that you're feeling a nice pull on your hamstrings. That's it, good, and your inner thighs. Now I'm going to, this is a little bit advanced, but if you can give it a go, reach up to the ceiling. Turn your head around. 
Well, it's a lovely stretch again bringing some work into the upper body and the shoulders and then the other side good feeling those inner thighs stretching out well done let's do the other side again and the more rounds we do the more the body will respond good and the other side well done that's great okay now see if you can get your hands down to the floor even your fingertips if not just hover above the floor that's it you can get your hands down that's great keep the the legs straight as you can holding that stretch feeling a lovely lovely bit of flexibility for the inner thighs walk the hands forward you can either jump or step it in that's great again reaching up and stretch it all out good now if you have your chair handy we are going to do I'm going to start off with inner thigh stretches and we'll start off with easy and we'll work our way down to a little bit more advanced so and also if you have a mat around or a towel you may need that for the floor stretches okay so we're going to stretch out the inner thighs again we're doing a lot a lot of people can be very tight on their inner thigh groin area so what I'm doing is here I'm just using the chair as assistance pushing forward okay push forward very much like you're going into a lunge position but you're using the chair as assistance that's it you might feel your, the back of your your calf there stretching as well I can get a bit of a bone stretch there for the calf good and then just switch around to the other side good lunge forward well done you can put a weight on the chair if you're nervous of it moving if it's on a wooden floor like this it might slide so you can always put some dumbbells down or something heavy or even get someone to sit there for you okay now we're going to work our way down make it progressively harder so rotate the chair around again watch it doesn't move and the same thing okay so you're making it harder because you're getting lower to the ground next stage I suggest would be a coffee table or something elevated off the floor like an exercise step something that's safe and sturdy that's not going to move let's move to the other leg now and then you can go straight down onto the floor which I'll show you after this because I don't have a, a coffee table or an exercise step here with me good lovely stretch there for the inner thighs right let's do the one so ne next would be a coffee table or something closer to the floor and then very advanced we'd head down to the floor and if you can at any stage lift your hand up like this and get a bonus stretch there for your chest and the shoulder that's it good place your hand down switch switch around and reach up and try and keep this leg here the leg that's extended out behind you active so don't let it sink or fall down so squeeze your thigh muscle there and keep it active and this is a lovely stretch with the hips the inner thighs that groin area good and then you can just switch around again reach up keeping that leg underneath active you have to keep reminding myself <laughs> that's it good work and switch around now I do spend a lot of time in my own cool dance off camera doing these particular type of stretches just to keep those hips strong and healthy and mobile good now we're going to go into a pigeon pose and you might need a mat for that simply because the knee the knee might get uncomfortable so if you have a mat or a towel or that if you're on a carpeted area you'll be fine okay so we're just going to cross come up come up into like a downward dog cross one leg under okay and feel a lovely stretch for your glutes here all right you can come up onto your toe if you like just keeping that leg stretched and extended behind you and keeping the muscles active keep breathing as well now I know this is a any stretch down on the floor can be a little bit a little bit more intense so if you feel like you can't come to the floor this one here this particular pigeon pose is wonderful on a bed and I do it myself some nights before I get into bed if I'm feeling a little bit stiff and the bed is lovely and soft I would 
You could try a chair, but you'd have to put down a cushion or a towel because the chair will hurt you. But a mattress on a bed is perfect. Let's switch around. Good, and it's great if you're learning the stretch, you're only getting into it and you find it hard to, to bend your knee at this angle. Pigeon pose is great, really brings that hip mobility in. Again, you can stand, extend that leg back behind you, lift your knee off the floor, keep your leg muscles there activated. Well done. Good, now I'm going to go into a downward dog. So let's just do your best with this one coming up and I'll introduce some calf stretches with it as well. So you're looking to try and get into like a V shape on the floor. You don't have to get your heels down, so don't worry about that. Relax your head, engage your abdominals. Bring your heels down towards the floor. Keep the head nice and relaxed. Then you can start kind of bringing in a bit of dynamic stretching. Just gently pressing your heels down towards the floor. That's great. And anytime you want to pause the video, hold the stretches for longer, or spend a bit more time cooling down, that's fine, you do that. Good, now let's again gently hold that position. Keep going. I'm going to head into bird dog now, any second. Again, you can do it down on the floor or a mat. So what we're going to do is make sure that the wrists, elbows are lined underneath our shoulders. The hips are square as much as you possibly can. Raise one arm, raise the opposite leg. Hold that position. Good, work on your balance here. Breathe in. Good. Switch it around. Draw your belly button up towards your spine before you start. That's it. Good. That'll really help to balance the body again, keeping that engagement in your center of your body. Reach with your fingertips away and your toes the other direction. That's it. Reach one hand away, toes away. Sit back into child pose. Enjoy this stretch here. Walk your fingertips away. Bring your head down. Good. And again, walk your fingertips away. See if, see if you can progress the stretch. Rather than just holding stretches, see if you can progress as much as you can. Good. Well done. Let's go back up into downward dog. Okay, so up we go. Careful the mat doesn't move on the wooden floors, they can be a bit slidey. Good. Particularly if you've sweat on your skin. Hold that position gently, bringing that dynamic stretch by pushing your heels down towards the floor one at a time, alternating. Well done. Good. Taking your time. Four, three, two, one, hold your downward dog. Relax. Okay, gently down onto your knees. Rotate around. Good, lie down on your back. We'll go into a bridge. Forgive me, I've got a mic pack on my back, so it's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> Engaging your tummy muscles. Just drawing your hip bones back towards your rib cage as you lift. Don't come too high with your bridge and gently lower back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, back into neutral spine, curl again. So, good, we're just drawing those hips, hip bones up towards the ribs. Let's go down vertebrae by vertebrae, back into neutral, curling those hip bones up towards your rib cage. Good, hold it for a few seconds. Just a gentle squeeze of the glutes as you're holding your bridge. You activate those glute muscles. It's a wonderful exercise for your backside. Hold it there. And like I say, if you'd like to spend more time on it, just pause the video. Good. And bring it back down into neutral. Now we're going to do baby in the cot. So just grasping the toes. They're nice and gentle. Don't be pinching your toes. And 
do your best to straighten your legs. It's actually quite a tough stretch. You'll feel it, really feel it in your calves. Now we have done a little bit of stretching for them with the downward dog there and the dynamic calf stretching. So you might find it a little bit more doable. That's it, keep your neck relaxed. So try not to look up at the ceiling. Look between your legs to keep your neck relaxed. Good. That's it. And you can increase the stretch there by trying to push your heels up towards the ceiling and making your legs a little bit straighter. If you're tight in the hamstrings there, it's tough. Bend your knees gently. Come up to a seated position and we go into our 90-90 stretch with the hip. Sitting upright as much as you can. And this is just the sitting in this position just brings wonderful mobility into your hips. Good. Ideally holding this position for about 30 to 60 seconds and switching to the other side. That's it. Use your tummy muscles, keep them switched on. Good. Just holding it here. Well done. Just sitting here and holding this position is just wonderful for our, our lower body mobility. Switch it around. Again, try not to sink into the move. Come up, use your tummy muscles. You work on a bit of your strength. You can hold on to your shoe if you need to for assistance. That's it. Good. Try not to sink down into it as you tire. Sit up straight. I know it's tough. You'll feel the areas of your body that need work. Well done. Good. Holding. That's lovely. You feel that as the more you hold it, the longer you hold it, you really feel this the stretch come into your body. Now I'm going to do a seated hip stretch with you. So again, you're going to need a chair for this one. And uh, make sure you push it up against something so it doesn't move on you if you're on a wooden floor. Okay, or you're on tiles or that. So sitting down. Just bringing your foot up and resting it on your knee. Push your leg, gently just pushing, putting a little bit of pressure on your, your knee there that's crossed over your body. Just gently pressing down towards the floor. Don't overly press it and bring your toe up to the ceiling. So knee down, toe up, and you'll feel this stretch getting a little bit more intense in around that groin area and that hip area. Again, it depends on how tight you are around that area. Big deep breaths for me. Good work. And let's switch around. Good. Chest is up nice and tall. Press that foot, uh, sorry, yeah, bring that foot up towards the ceiling and press that knee down. That's it. Nice tall spine. Don't sink into the chair or anything. Keep upright. And this can be quite an intense stretch if you're tight in around your hips or your groin area. Well done. Great. Okay, let's make our way back down to the floor. Use your mat if you need to. I prefer this particular move without a mat. Okay, so make sure your tummy muscles are engaged. Reach down, walk it out. A little bit of mobility before we finish up. Knee and kick. And if you can only do two reps of this, that's fine. You can go up higher. You don't have to be down on the floor doing this. You can actually go to your chair. Good. Kick back, knee under. Kick back. Don't worry about kicking too high. Just do your best. Place your foot down on the floor. Let's go with the other leg. Okay, and then just repeat with the other leg. Now keep going with that. I just want to show anybody that can't get to the floor with that, that you can do this on a chair. Knee tuck, kick back, knee, kick back. Okay, don't forget to switch legs. So knee and kick. See how many reps you can get out on one leg. And again, just bringing in some tummy work and some mobility work for the lower half. Good. And two more. Last one. Let's try our around the world before we finish out. Reach up to the ceiling, belly button engaged. Good. Now open your legs. You might need to open them nice and wide. Take your time with this one. Now, after doing some stretches there for the lower half, you probably find that this is quite doable. This is great for the back of the body, the hamstrings. You'll feel your hamstrings stretching there. 
Go a little bit into the calf. I love, love this move. Great one to do first thing in the morning when you wake up. Your spine is feeling a little bit stiff. Reach up. Make sure you get a stretch there as you reach up. Let's hold it here. Make sure we're stretching out the trunk. That's it, because we can't forget. Now let's go the opposite way. Belly button in. Round we go. Good. And around. Feeling that. I just love this for the hamstrings. I find so many people find it difficult to stretch out their hamstrings. Reach up to the ceiling. Two more. And I just find this one is really, really a great exercise to hit that area of the body. Good work. And bring those legs in. And you have done a wonderful job. Big thumbs up to you. That was absolutely great. Now those stretches can be done, like I say, on a daily basis, every day, first thing in the morning, if you're feeling a little bit stiff after getting out of bed, and most definitely after you've done a workout when you've got a bit of sweat flowing on your skin. But whenever time you choose to do, just make sure you're getting your, mo your mobility and some stretching into your, your workouts or your workout schedule, okay? I'm gonna add that one to my cool down playlist, so they're building there, there's a good few, few uh, cool downs for you to choose from now. So no excuses, get them in. Okay, I will see you in the next workout. Have a wonderful day.